in this video we're going to have a look at the pedal board often overlooked but there are some fantastic effects uh, a lot more kind of analog sounding and uh, can give a real different vibe to uh, something that you're working on so we've got a brand new project here uh, i'm actually going to create a drummer track for this there we go and let's uh, go down to the r b section and i think we're going to say hello to curtis uh, for this example so i'm just going to play this beat Now the pedal board is accessed uh, from here, the audio effects, we just click down here to amps and pedals and we can select the pedal board here. But for this example I just want to try putting some effects uh, on some individual sounds, so maybe the snare or the hi-hat. What we could actually do is uh, turn this drum kit designer device uh, into an EXS24. So all we have to do is click on this, go down to here, select multi output, and it then takes all those samples uh, but turns them into an EXS24 instrument which we can then click on edit and manipulate the outputs or do whatever we want to. So if I just play it, you can see it sounds exactly the same. So a key feature of the drum kit designer is the multi sampling and if we open this up here you can see that on every key there's a whole range of different samples, different timbres uh, to create a realistic drum sound or a drum hit. What we want to do is to isolate some of these sounds. And before we created a multi-output device, so if we go to our mixer section here, and uh, as we described before, we just click on the plus button. You can see every time I click it, it's uh, creating a new output. Uh, as it's a multi-output output device. So we have now kick, snare, toms, and hi-hat. So if we press play now, We can actually isolate these. Okay, so let's try something on this hi hat. I'm just going to open this up a little bit here. Click down to pedal board, stereo. There we go. And uh, on the right hand side, we can see all the pedals that are actually available to us, a whole host of them. And then this here is our pedal board area. So what we need to do is just drag one of these pedals onto this pedal board area to make it work. So I'm going to try to start off with a phaser. I think it could be quite good, quite a good kind of dub reggae technique. And if we just solo this, you can hear we've got a lovely kind of phaser sound. We can adjust the mix. We can sync this to the tempo if we need to increase the feedback, the order. So a lot of the kind of standard phasey effects sounded really nice. Now it could be good to maybe add uh, a little bit of reverb to that. So let's try out this uh, spring box here. I'm just going to drag that over and as you can see the more you drag over you just create this uh, chain of effects just like you would uh, have in a normal pedal board. Uh, so let's listen to that now. Really lovely kind of spring reverb we got there. Let's take this out of solo. Great, so that's working really nicely. Now, what might be quite cool is to try an effect on the snare. Uh, maybe some reverb as well. Let's try bringing up the pedal board on the snare. And uh, let's see what we've got here. Just going to solo it. Well, quite interesting to uh, listen to the ring modulator. Now it's very handy as well if you just uh, hover your mouse over any of these effects it just gives you a brief description of what they do. So let's uh, try this one, this uh, ring modulator. That's creating a really kind of nasty dirty vibe there depending on what frequency we use. Let's just change the mix a little bit so we get a bit more of the original signal. We can also set these up as an effect send and return as well. Uh, so let's just click here, bus, bus two, that's the next available free one. And uh, then we can just select the pedal board here as well. There we go. And I'm gonna try a delay could be quite good fun. Let's scroll down. It's a good delay here.
quite kind of tape echoey uh, type effect there. Because it's on a return, let's just put the mix to 100%. Again, we can sync this to tempo. Increase the feedback, get a really nice kind of dubby vibe on this. So really worth investigating. In fact, you could almost use these pedals exclusively and not use any of the other ones if you wanted to. Uh, and also, you're not forgetting there are a load of presets as well it comes with. Uh, you can go for some uh, kind of ready-made fuzz effects, compressor effects, all types of things. So definitely worth checking out. Every two weeks in the course, uh, an assignment is set. So once I've done my assignment, which is essentially a track, I upload it for my tutor to download and he sends me back a DVR which is a direct video response. It's a video produced by your tutor um, that is sent to you personally every couple of weeks while you're, you're studying, giving you immediate feedback on your production. It's something that enables the students to have a one-to-one -one connection with their tutor. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. And I think this kind of steel can sound is brilliant. I mean, that's, that's a real kind of hook of the track, this. Maybe let's just try uh, recording something in. The response that the tutor gives is completely tailored to the student's style of music or the level that they're at as well. So it might be nice to spice up this drum track by adding a delay and you can see I've put one here in the return of the drum rack and uh, if we just apply that to the clap now, you see it has a really nice effect. If you want to check out the whole range of online courses, go to pointblankonline.net.